Hello, my name is Jennifer Latham Robinson, and I'm the creator of Limb Horizons, which is an online educational resource that provides prosthetic and orthotic information as well as limb difference information in a kid-friendly way via creative illustrations. I'm an artist. I was also born with bilateral PFFD, which is short for proximal femoral focal deficiency. So I was born in 1977 with PFFD, and but I didn't know it was PFFD at the time. I mean, I didn't know my whole childhood what that was called. Um, I was having, actually having a conversation today with somebody about that, the fact that it wasn't until I was an adult my husband and I were thinking about starting a family. And, you know, I was aware of my anatomy, but not really aware. I remember seeing x-rays when I was a little kid at um, the Shriners Hospital, which the Shriners Hospital were amazing, um, made me feel really special and um, part of, like, part of a family. Um, but anyway, so I had seen x-rays, but I, I wasn't quite sure, um, of the details. And so when uh, my husband and I were considering having kids, um, because PFFD affects the formation of your pelvis, hips, and femurs, I wasn't quite sure if I would be able to carry a pregnancy to term. So um, the way that PFFD affects me is I was born without a right femur at all. I, I think it's like, a, it's actually like a little tiny little ball my femur and um, part of a tibia and then a very small foot that only had like, I don't know, like two or three toes. And then on my other side, my other leg, my femur, my thigh bone is, is um, very short, um, but the rest of my leg is pretty well formed and then I have um, no hip joints. So, so anyway, I um, decided that I wanted to learn more about my body and so as an adult, I requested my records from the Shriners Hospital and I I had to do that in person. So I went to the Shriners Hospital, which was like a really empowering moment because I always loved going there as a kid and to go back as an adult, it was just such an empowering moment. And um, to see all these friendly faces and to visit everybody, it was just beautiful. Anyway, so I requested my records and they said, well, it's going to take a while for you to get them. And again, this was like back in, you know, the year 2000, so 99 maybe. And it, so it wasn't like nowadays where everything is instant and you can do research online and figure everything, every, you know, you had to actually go places to request information. So they said, okay, we'll send it to you. And so fast forward, I get my records in the mail and it's like literally a, an, like a thick envelope of every visit since I was, so I had my little foot amputated when I was two years old and had been going there regularly since I was a kid for my entire childhood. And so it was every note from every visit there, which was like a lot of information. And it was like somebody had kept a diary for me on my behalf without telling me because it was like the details were so, it was so detailed and personal, talked about like what I was doing in school and what I was excited about. These were like the doctor's notes, which was just to um, shows you how, how well they, they got to know me. Anyway, so that's where I learned about what PFFD was and what my anatomy was and what the details of the surgery and everything like that. Um, and so, part of the reason why I created Limb Horizons, um, I mean, a big reason was so that kids could feel represented um, because I know that was always important to me when I was little, um, but also just to empower kids to understand medical terminology so that they can grow up to be better advocates for themselves and better consumers and better participants in their healthcare plans. So that's why in Limb Horizons, I have a glossary that I'm building so kids can learn the terminology. And then through the creative story, stories, they can be introduced to these concepts that relate to their own bodies. Um, so anyway, I, um, I'm really excited about Limb Horizons. I'm excited about the direction that it can go. And um, I'm looking forward to hearing feedback from people as far as what they would like to see um, 
represented on the website. So if you have any questions for me, please let me know. Um, go to limhorizons.com. Anyway, my first video, so I was a little nervous, but hopefully I'll get better with time. So thank you so much. Bye.